Oh yeah, what a day. Let's see, if I had known what was coming, I wouldn't be so disappointed in the little mountain that Mount Washington is. I was expecting some real peaks. They're still pretty. I always say that, they're still pretty. But they are, they're still pretty. It's cold. The more I travel around, the less inclined I feel to obey property laws. I feel less connected to all the rules and regulations that tie different people down to different people, pieces of land and make certain plots one and certain plots the other. Others just don't have any need or care for property rights and the whole idea of I own this piece of land or you own that piece of land. I still have a lot of respect for personal property. You know, a person's body, a person's possessions. But the whole land ownership thing, I don't know what how I feel about it. You know, of course I like the idea of owning my own piece of land, but the more I travel, the less and less that idea appeals to me. Because I like the idea of always never being tied to one place right now. But I also, you know, eventually that concept no longer works because if the world doesn't end, we have too many people and there's no more land left and the new people can't buy land any longer. But the other, it's just, I don't know. Any piece of property in this world is so unique and so individual for us to say that one person should own it and nobody else can come visit it is really an injustice as far as I'm concerned. So anyways, as I travel around, I'm not so morally concerned about parking on someone else's piece of property. Although I do have to worry about it in the other regard, which is, will I get in trouble? Because I do not like talking to police officers. That's not true. I've run into a lot of nice police officers. I just don't like getting in trouble. Because then it really upsets my head to think about the fact that I got in trouble for parking on a piece of dirt. I'm going to go try and talk to these people about a shower. You look like my dog. Alright. That fella looks like my fella. <laughs> Is there anywhere in town that uh, offers showers for travelers, people coming through? <laughs> the East Coast doesn't have very tall mountains. I had no idea until I got out here. But that's it, that's their tallest right there, Mount Washington. It's pretty. It's pretty. That's all I'm going to say today. It's, it's pretty. State park. No camping. Just visiting for the afternoon. Thank you. You need a light? I got a lighter if you need one. You let me know. I pulled off on the side of this dirt road up in the uh, National Park. 
hoping to make it a spot I can sleep for the night. But I don't know if it's allowed up here. There's no designated pull-off areas. There's no designated camping areas. It's basically just a little spot on the side of the road. And it could fly and nobody could bother me all night or come 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. Some park ranger could be doing his... What do you call it? Doing his rounds. And stumble across me and wake me up and maybe ask me to leave or maybe he gets nervous. And These are all the things that are going through my mind. Maybe he simply asked me to leave, which would suck to have to wake up in the middle of the night and leave. Or maybe he calls the cops and runs my license plates and looks deeper into who I am and discovers that my registration isn't straight on the car and that I'm not holding my Oregon driver's license. I do have an Oregon driver's license and the car is mine, bought and paid for. The registration just hasn't been worked out yet, but I guess I worry about I enjoy the trip so much I worry about it being taken away from me by something stupid like that. Because there are states in this country where they can take your vehicle away from you for not carrying a license and registration. My guess is New Hampshire isn't one of those states considering that they don't even have a seatbelt law yet for adults. And my argument to the police officer would be that your license plate here does say live free or die. But anyways, I am so tired and ready to go to bed now that the fear of being woken up and being kicked off this spot and getting in trouble for sleeping here is slowly drifting away and exhaustion is slowly creeping in and setting in. And I don't know, I would imagine it's like that for anybody. I would imagine in prison the guy looks forward to the moments when he finally gets tired and gets to fall asleep and... It's a little escape from life, and not to compare my situation to prison, which would be just really bizarre considering how free and exhilarating and happy I've been on the road. But I guess there are those moments when I get a little um, uneasy and uncomfortable. And it all comes back to the old rules and regulations of this country and what you can and can't do and what the government can and can can and will do to you if you run into them at the right time of day. I don't know, I've run into so many police officers and I had my information checked out so many times and nothing bad came of it. I don't know why I'm worried now. But, I don't know why I worry at all, to be honest with you, but that's the thing I shouldn't worry. I'm tired, though, and I'm going to go to bed and relax and not worry about anybody waking me up in the middle of the night and taking my vehicle away from me. See, I put, it's got the Jeep license plate on it, and this car is still in the name of the old owner down in Florida. I have the bill of sale, but I haven't registered in my name, so it's a Florida car with Oregon license plate from an old Jeep that I sold down in Florida. So I could probably get in big trouble for that. But I can't really, I've tried correcting it, and... I can't really correct it until I get back to Oregon now because all the paperwork's at my mother's house. My mother has not taken it down to the DMV yet. And I'm not going to bug her about it because it's not her responsibility, it's my responsibility. So. This is me on a Tuesday night falling asleep in the White Mountains National Forest.